Hi, I'm Josh and this is a quick demo of GamingWithLemons.com. Gaming with Lemons is a video game collection, wishlist and backlog tracker. If you're like me, you've probably played a lot of video games across a disparate number of platforms. You've probably completed some of them, but it's unlikely you've completed them all. And you, ha you simply have no way of having a complete picture of your collection, all the games you've played, which ones you haven't finished, so that you can prioritise which ones you should complete next. This is where Gaming with Lemons comes in. Video game collection trackers aren't a very new idea, I certainly didn't come up with it, but in my opinion a lot of them do it very badly. The most popular ones don't even have structured data, they just ask you to manually type the names of games. This isn't very useful information, you may as well be provide, writing your own list in an Excel spreadsheet, because you can't compare the data, you can't see which games you've played versus which games your friends have played, for example. So let me give you a quick demo. So if you log into the site, the first thing you'll be greeted on your collection is nothing. I, I don't have very much going on here, I have no games. So let's search for some. So immediately from the search result, I can see here is Final Fantasy XIII, I own that game, and I've completed it. And I did that on Xbox 360. And its sequel, I also own that, but I haven't finished it yet. So this is an example of where Gaming with Lemons is really designed to be fast and efficient. A lot of other apps and websites ask you to go into detailed pages or separate pages to add platforms. Here you can efficiently blast through entering games into your collection because you can do almost everything from search. Here's another game. I want that one because I don't own it. And just as an example, here is a game which only has one platform and if I add that to a list The website intelligently assigns the platform immediately because there is only one available. If you go into a game, there is also a detail page. And here I can say other information like I'm currently playing this game. I've played it for 30 hours and provide a completion date when I eventually do that. On this page you can also see a feed of people who are added this game to their list or if they're currently playing with it and you can interact with them. This same feed is also available for view of all the games in your collection on your profile page. But the most important information is probably on the collection page. So here you can see a full picture of your collection. You can see a progress of how much you've completed, the number of games you have, how many you've completed, how many are still in your backlog and how many games you want. You have a lot of power here to sort it by different variables. You can also filter it, so for example I can just see my wish list. Also on every page of your profile is a list of the games you're currently playing down here. So if I go over to Dissidia and I mark that as currently playing and I pop back to my profile, you'll see I've now got two games down here. Game with Lemons is currently in alpha. This is a very bare bones feature set of what I hope to add to the website. And very importantly, it is open source. If you have programming ability and you would like to collaborate with me and the community, or if you think you've found a bug or you wish to add a feature you think will be cool, please do check out the GitHub page and fork the source code. I hope you enjoyed checking out the website and thank you for watching.